Spring is in the air, and a lot of people are talking about going to their first big game of the year, and they're saying, it's going to be awesome, we're going to pile five of us into the car, we're going to drive all night, it's going to be cool, we're going to have so much fun! Okay, time out. Uh, because of that, I kind of want to give you guys my rough guide to paintball road tripping. Now, I'm talking specifically about driving to an event. If you're flying, that's another story entirely, and I could cover that in another episode, but this episode, this series of episodes, we're talking about road tripping. Now, uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, I've survived many road trips in my time, including the road trip from hell of 94. <laughs> that's another, I'll save that for another time. But uh, having done that, I can save you guys a lot of grief and uh, hopefully a lot of money, too, if uh, you guys can learn from my mistakes. That's what I'm going for here. So take this as the advice it's given as. So for the sake of argument, we're going to go to this event here. I'm not actually going to Castle. I would love to go to Castle again, but I can't afford it. Uh, so Castle Conquest this year is going to be April 30th, 2011. So that is roughly a month and a half from now. Which means that it, that's, that's not a lot of time to plan. A lot of people can just say, oh, I'll just throw your gear in the back of the car and just go for it. But I, I would buy, it's actually cheaper and it's actually better if you plan these things at least two months in advance, if not more than that. Uh, the more you're prepared for, the smoother things go, which is sort of a parable for life, basically. Uh, so six weeks out or so, that's about the maximum, or the minimum, I suppose, time that I would plan something like this. So this episode, we're going to talk about the costs. Uh, later episodes, we're going to talk about other things, too, but uh, we're going to focus in on the costs today. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the cost of the event itself. It's $35 entry fee, $85 per case of paint. So that's a little over 100 bucks right there. That's not bad. That's actually manageable for the event. That's cool, but that's not the only cost you have to worry about. You've got to worry about other things, too, and this is where the pre-planning comes in. Well, first of all, you need a place to stay. Now, EMR, you could camp out there. You could also use the bunkhouses. But I'm an old guy, and doing the bunkhouse thing or doing the camping thing, not so much anymore. Can't really do it. That, and I need to, I need to go by the 621 theory. Uh, a friend of mine taught me this one. You need six hours of sleep, two meals a day, one shower a day, you're good. And uh, you really can't do that camping. Well, you can do the six and the two, just not the show. You get the idea. So I need a place to stay. So a little bit of research online, you can find a bunch of hotel websites that you can get a pretty decent deal on. Now in this case, uh, about 180 bucks. That's not bad. You absorb that cost amongst five or six people and it actually gets incredibly manageable. And I don't care what they say, yeah, you can stuff five or six people into a hotel room. They just don't have to know that you're stuffing five or six people into a hotel room. Uh, let's also talk about gas prices here. Uh, Google Maps is saying that this is going to be about 850 miles from where I'm sitting to, paint, to EMR Paintball, roughly. So I'm just kind of kind of uh, rough, uh, rough the cost. Now, let's say you find a car that you can get 25 miles a gallon. It's 850 miles each way. Yeah, that's a lot of gas, and you got to pay for it. Now I'm not even going to pretend to know what the price of gas is going to be when the event comes around. But you can kind of get a general idea of it right now, so you can kind of source out how much gas is going to be. Um, the other thing, too, is that you need to have a, quite a bit of cash on you for emergency reasons. Uh, dumb things happen on the open road. You know, tires get blown out, a belt goes, something in the engine goes, a hose goes, something like that. And you're going to need to get rescued. And not everywhere in the country takes plastic, but they all accept green paper money. So have some of that handy. You want to have enough that you got to figure that you're probably going to worst case scenario is you're in the middle of nowhere and there's one guy who can help you out, but he is a couple hundred miles away. Kind of have enough cash that you can do that, or at least have a means that you can do that. Because the worst feeling in the world is when you're stranded out in the middle of nowhere and it sucks. Now let's also talk about a little bit about the other costs. That's our food costs. Now you're going to have to eat, obviously. And there's only so much McDonald's that you can stand. And I've gotten into many arguments about this. McDonald's is good food to get you know get you going, get you moving, keep you moving. But eventually you're going to need something more substantial. And you can you can plan ahead for this. And I'll cover this on another episode here about packing food. You can do that. But uh, eventually you're probably going to want to have a sit down restaurant kind of thing. And that's going to be about ten bucks per meal at least. So kind of uh, put about $40 aside every day for food. You're probably not going to touch all $40 of it, but it's nice to have. It's always good to have more. It, you can save it for later, but it's good to have more money than you need. 
Um, there's also some other costs too. I mean, if you're gonna like buy souvenirs, if you're going to be bringing back stuff, things like that, have extra cash available for that too. Again, you're going to a paintball event, not all of them expect, accept plastic, so have that credit ready to go. Okay, so uh, next episode we're going to talk a little bit about the cars themselves and actual driving and all that other stuff. And in future episodes we'll be talking a little bit more about the road trip stuff. So if you like it, you guys know the drill. So catch you guys next week.